Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys I am going to tell you guys how to correctly install your CPU on your motherboard correctly. This is the place where you normally install your CPU. This is your microprocessor that you have. So if this is something new to you guys, if you are assembling your PC for the first time, this is the guide for you guys. As you know guys, uh, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing to make an ultimate astrophotography image processing rig that will have all the necessary power to do your image processing lot faster than before. So if you have not seen the unboxing of this CPU or this motherboard, I will put the link in the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Before we move further guys, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share with you guys. Before we go further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. Before we start with putting the microprocessor in this slot, first we need to understand how this slot is made of. So first thing you see, there is a plastic cover on the top. It also says the information or it gives the instruction saying that install the processor first uh, and keep the cover. Uh, why it is asking you to keep the cover is in any scenario, if you want to uh, replace this motherboard or send it back, you need to put this cover so as to protect this microprocessor slot that is there here. So which is why guys, uh, even after installing this microprocessor on this uh, microprocessor slot, you need to keep this top cover which is removable for now so as to keep it safe uh, while transportation or while uh, sending it for repairs and anything. Right. And also here you see it is marked as removed so this top plastic cover is removable and then you see there is a, a line of uh, metal here this is the notch that locks and unlocks the cover which protects the cpu socket that is has so let us now open so depending upon the type of motherboard there are different ways to unlock this cpu cover so here you just have to press and slide and then pull it up As you can see here guys, this is the nut bolt here which is uh, locking the cover as you can see. Uh, there is a notch on the top of the cover which is a metal plate with uh, indent inside. So that indent, putting it back you have to push first back so that uh, the notch aligns with the nut bolt and goes slides below that so as to lock the cover. So as you can see, like this. So as you can see guys, if you remove this cover and then directly put it it's not gonna lock you have to pull this lever back so that it so that the cover on the top slides little back and then slides at the bottom to lock it and then there is a hole at the bottom of this plate uh, in which this top notch gets uh, interlocked so you have to slide little back and then put inside so this is how you uncover and cover the top cover of the microprocessor socket. So now let us open the microprocessor socket again by sliding this little aside and then pulling it up and then gently lifting the cover. So doing this process, this will expose the socket in which your microprocessor goes. As you can see, there is a dot here. Uh, or notch so depending upon the type of motherboard that you have you will have a dot or a notch or any markings definitely you will have a marking so as to align your microprocessor so now let us see the microprocessor itself before putting it into this slot whenever you buy a microprocessor from the market uh, directly you will get it into this pack when you unbox this if you have not seen that video i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check out how to get up to this level so once you have this microprocessor with you all you need to do is open it so this will expose the microprocessor on the top part is your metal at the bottom part uh, the bottom part is the pins itself so it's not the pins that you see it is really the dots the pins are there in the socket uh, which aligns and connects to it when you put it you don't have to push it or press it you just have to keep it on the top of it and the required pressure will be put on by the uh, bracket or the top end uh, 
top bracket that it has the metal bracket so you don't have to manually put the pressure but one thing important i would like to say is do not touch the bottom part of it so as to ensure that it is clean and you do not have any oil from your hand contaminating the microprocessor but one thing before we put the processor we need to know is there is also a similar marking to your motherboard you also have a marking on the processor so as to align your processor correctly as you can see here i don't know if it is visible in the camera but then as you can see here there is a triangular dot and then rest three corners has a circular dot so this is how you know this is the notch that we were looking for and this is how you need to align the processor to the socket of the motherboard all right let's get started and install it to the socket so you see the dot here and you have the notch here we will gently put it here on the top of the socket till it slides in nicely in addition to that notch you will have one uh, small cut here and here as well this will ensure that even if you have done it in a wrong way your processor will not sit in nicely so unless these cuts are aligned on the bottom as well so this is how you double check and ensure that your processor is aligned properly you just need to ensure that it is slides in and fits nicely and it does not move right you do not have to press it or anything required pressure will be put by the cover that it has so next thing that we need to do is before we close the latch is to remove this plastic cover so we'll remove the plastic cover by pulling it up so as you can see this comes out and this will expose your processor now what you have to do is this lever we have to press it back so that this notch is at the bottom of this nut bolt and then we'll gently press it so that it slides at the bottom and then we will lock it so when you have the processor guys uh, this lever will be slightly more tighter than before and also you see there are two side notches that goes on top of the processor so as to keep it tight and aligned to the pins that are at the bottom so this is how you install the processor on the motherboard so this concludes the tutorial on how to install the processor on the motherboard that you have this process is specifically for intel but then you can follow the same process on for installing any other processor on any other motherboard or amd motherboard the process is exactly same i hope you guys like this video if you like this video do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies